everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a card using this Lawn Fawn Love You S'more stamp set. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and stamped out a whole bunch of images like I like to do on a sheet. But I'm going to trim out a few that we're going to use on our card today, and then I'll zoom in so we can get started. So I'm going to begin with my bear, and I decided to make him a black bear. So I pulled out W5, W7, and W9. And the first thing I'm going to do is give him a quick wash of that W5 just to get the paper saturated so that the colors are going to blend over top real well. And then I'm going to go in with my W7 and begin to um, highlight the shaded areas that I want to uh, put the shadows in. So I'm using the W7 for that, just to go around the edges and kind of define where I want to put those. And then I'm going to go in with my W9 and deepen those along the edges. So I like to work lightest to darkest when I have larger images. Um, I do sometimes work darkest to lightest if it's a small image, and that's just so that you don't oversaturate the paper. But this bear is plenty big to be able to work up in layers, and building in layers is going to give you a really smooth transition um, between your coloring. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to my W7 and fill that back in a little bit, and then I'll blend everything out with the W5, just coloring in a circular motion to really, really um, blend those colors together and uh, make him look really smooth without any streaks. So my middle son, Elliot, is going away to camp this week with his class. Um, their whole class, the whole sixth grade class is going on a camping trip. And uh, so that, I thought this was a perfect opportunity to make a fun camp-themed card so that I could mail it to him while he's away. And it's also um, the current lawnscaping challenge, which is a sweets challenge. So you can use any kind of sweets incorporated on your card. And I thought s'mores, of course, are a great kind of um, dessert, fun camping dessert. So I thought that would be perfect for today's card. So um, I'm just going to color in his little muzzle now with some E53 and a little bit of E55 just for a little bit of shadow. And I'll blend that back in and then I'm going to move on to my squirrel. So I wanted the squirrel to be a red squirrel. And um, the, that's one of my favorite animals ever. I just think they're so adorable. Um, so I used E15, E17, and E19 for um, him. The, this is a really great color combo that I think gives you a really natural look for kind of um, any kind of rusty colored critters. So I just began again with my E15 and laid down that wash. And once again, just as the bear, just taking the E17 and... Um, figuring out where I want my shadows to be and then deepening those with the E19 and then I'll just go back in reverse order um, once I've got that all laid out and just blend everything really well. So if you've never played along with us at Lawnscaping, it is a challenge blog that was born out of a love for lawn fawn images. So if you love lawn fawn stamps as much as we do, you should definitely come over and play along. You can find us at lawnscaping.blogspot.com and we have a really awesome design team that um, always has really inspiring projects and we post challenges every uh, second and fourth Monday of the month and uh, they're always a different theme and they're super fun and we get so many great participants and so if you've never checked us out you definitely should um, it's really really fun to play along and it's a great community if you're wanting to get involved um, you know in some different challenges that kind of push you to try different things and then um, there's always prizes as well so um, definitely check that out so for my bird, I did color him with W1, W5, and W7, but I ended up deciding at the end that he was a little too plain. I situated him on the card next to the bear, and I didn't like the two gray critters being next to each other. It was just um, too bland. So I recolored him later with some aquas, with some um, BG13, 15, and 17 um, in a little bit. But I wanted a real pale moon, so I used Y000, Y11, and Y13. 
And then um, I wanted to move on to the marshmallow. And even though it should be white, I wanted it to have just a little bit of color. So I used my E000 and my E00 and just laid in just a little bit of color on one end, not too much. And then to give it that toasty look, I'm going to grab E53 and E55. And again, just on the portion that's kind of going to be over the flame, I'm just adding that color and blending it out really well. And when I'm all done, I'm just going to die cut those images out with the matching dies, and then we'll move on to our background. So I've taped a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock down to my craft mat with some painter's tape. And now I'm going to take this black brush-o and a mini mister, and I'm going to give my paper a good spritz, and then I'm going to begin tapping the pigment onto the paper. And you're going to see that the colors are going to kind of burst and flame out kind of like fireworks. It's a really cool effect. And I love this black because it has so many colors incorporated. There's oranges and blues and purples in there, and it just makes for a beautiful sky background, a night sky. So I'm just going to continue tapping on some pigment and spritzing it with water until I'm happy with the way it looks. And then I'm going to leave it to continue to mix and blend and let it air dry. So I think it took about two hours for it to air dry. Uh, so I just went and helped my kids with their homework and uh, cleaned up after dinner. And then by the time I was done, um, it looked like this. So I just went ahead and peeled off the painter's tape and this is the background that was left behind and it does dry back a little bit. Um, the colors are not quite as vibrant as when they're wet, but I think it's just a super cool background. So I've taken the Lawn Fawn Grassy Border die and stamped my sentiment, everything is more fun with you at the bottom. And now I'm grabbing the largest tree from that stamp set and my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to hold the grass in position and then just kind of move it aside so that I can stamp some distant trees in the background. And I thought that they would be black against that night sky because they're farther back and away from whatever remaining light is left from the moon. So um, I just went ahead and stamped those. Um, all along the back to kind of just give a little more visual interest to the scene. And now I'm just grabbing my ATG to go ahead and adhere that grass panel to the front of the card. Since this is going through the mail, I didn't want to give it too much dimension. That would make it difficult. I am going to pop up some of my elements on the card, but I wanted the grass to be kind of set back um, so that the critters are the focus. I'm also using a generous amount of ATG to adhere that watercolor cardstock to my card front, which is a piece of Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock. Uh, this is from a sample pack. Um, because I taped my paper down, it didn't really warp at all, but it is very sturdy and thick, so I just wanted to make sure it was really secure. So now I'm going to go ahead and set the scene on the front of my card and the fire is going to be the focal point so I'm adhering that down in the middle with some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I did color that off camera. There were a lot of elements on this card and I just couldn't fit them all in the video because um, it was already quite long. Um, but I'm adhering the bottom two layers of the fire with the Tombow Mono Multi. And then I'm going to adhere the top layer with a little bit of foam tape. To get the bear to hold the little stick, I uh, just took my little craft knife and cut a slit right between his front two legs and kind of tucked it back in there, held it in place with a little bit of post-it tape. And then I went ahead and popped him up on some foam tape as well. And then I'm going to do the same with my little uh, squirrel, just... I'll pop him up with some foam tape. And then I'm going to take the little marshmallows and I'll add those to the end of the sticks. Um, but I did have to do a little bit of adjusting here just to make it look um, like they were really holding them over the flames. And then I'll add that little bird that I recolored in the blue just to give it a little pop of color. 
I like the way he looks a lot better and I use the same colors from the moon to tie in his wing. I also had colored this little s'more image in um, to kind of set near the sentiment but it ended up not looking right. It was a little too crowded and he looked out of place. But I did want another image there so I grabbed the little bunny from Hello Baby and I went ahead and colored that in with um, W1 and W3 and I just added him in next to the squirrel and I was much happier uh, with the scene that way. But I didn't want to waste the s'more image so I decided to add it to the inside of my card. So I took a white panel and cut it down to four by five and a quarter so it would fit inside um, the inside of the card with a small border. And I just glued that s'more image right down in the center. And then I grabbed the I Love You sentiment from the I Love You S'more um, stamp set. And I just stamped that right below the image there. And then I just grabbed some Tombow Mono Multi to go ahead and adhere that to the inside of my card. And that completed the card for today. I hope that my son Elliot is going to really love it when he gets it in the mail at camp and I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. So thank you so much for watching and uh, thumbs upping and leaving me comments. It means so much. Um, if you missed my last video, it's there for you on screen right now. You can go ahead and click the little video annotation and it will take you right to it. Thanks again. Bye bye.